And now, from his cell on Pennsylvania's death row, a commentary for Mumia Abu-Jamal. The politics of denunciation. When was the last time you saw a politician asked to denounce a religious leader with whom he or she was associated? For generations, we've seen a succession of presidents from both political parties under the wing of the Reverend Billy Graham. Historians have recently reported that Graham and his Oval Office acolytes have spoken in racist and xenophobic terms about both blacks and Jews. The Reverend Graham was lionized as the personal spiritual advisor to presidents in times of war and peace. Neither he nor his presidential prayer pals have ever been damned or denounced for profoundly racist speech in the ears of the powerful. Now, as a black man begins to climb the greased pole of American political power, he's asked to either defend or denounce a man whom he has known and admired for a generation. Barack Obama opted for the latter. He has all but jettisoned the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright from the closed circle to the cold periphery of the political realm. Whence comes this demand for denunciation? If we're honest, it arises from a deep white fear that demands of black people a higher standard than that of their own. For what reason was Jeremiah Wright been jettisoned, if not for his proud, open blackness? Reverend Wright is an advocate of black liberation theology, a school of black religious thought that sees the hand of God in the liberation of black people from bondage. White Americans are so used to hearing blacks speak with quiet and pacific tones that when a man expresses himself fully, as did Reverend Wright, they are quite frankly frightened. What do they fear? That blacks will dare remember? Through the corporate media talking heads, they demanded that Obama distance himself from that scary black uppity preacher and do it fast. Yowza, boss. The politics of denunciation is ultimately the politics of betrayal. It asks, no, it demands that the candidate denounce those whom the white nation opposes. If they don't, then they're presumed to be a supporter of that person or ideology. When I saw his latest diss of the Reverend Dr. Wright, I thought of a question posed in the Bible, in the words of Jesus of Nazareth, speaking to his disciples. It's in Matthew 16:26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are produced by Noel Hanrahan for Prison Radio.